What's going on guys, this is Mike Noida, and today I'll be unboxing Power Blue Splat. Splat was one of the Skylanders from Superchargers to get a Power Blue in-game variant, which the colors represent Autism Speaks official colors. This is the first time I've gotten my hands on this figure, and I managed to find one still in the box on eBay. Unfortunately, the packaging is damaged, so I just decided to open it up, which is completely fine to me. You get the stickers and Power Blue Splat herself. This is a really good color scheme, and I probably like it better than the Power blue trigger happy speaking of which each of those figures got matching vehicles which look amazing together let me know which skylander should have got a power blue variant down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one take care what's going on guys this is mike annoyed and today i'll be unboxing a skylanders battlecast booster pack Skylanders Battlecast was a mobile game that allowed you to scan in real life cards and use them in battles. I managed to win a giveaway from SEL Matt and received a booster pack that contains 8 Battlecast cards. So let's open this bad boy up. Technically there are 9 cards if you can include the warning card that tell you not to take pictures of the cards without the trading shield. I got Thermal Vent, Burning Rubber, Whale Womp, Collective Strength, <laughs> Food Fight, Metal Morphosis, Boo, which is a hollow, Leeching Mist, and Cog of War. So just a bunch of spell and gear cards, no Skylanders unfortunately, but it was still a lot of fun opening these cards up and looking at some of the cool artwork. Let me know if you own any good Battlecast cards down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. What's going on guys, this is Mike Annoyed, and today I'm going to unbox Mega Ram Spyro. Skylander Swap Force introduced Series 3 Skylanders, which were characters that received three variations throughout three Skylander games. Here I have Mega Ram Spyro from Swap Force that I got from GameStop back in the day. And as you can see, the back part came apart, so I figure I can just open it up. All I have to do is just pull this part out, separate the plastic here, and I can pull out the stack card and the sticker sheet containing Spyro's code, which you can put on the poster. Speaking of Spyro, here is the figure itself this was always one of my favorite returning skylanders from swap forest the horns are easily the best part in fact it's the only part they really changed which indicates that his wow pal has something to do with his ram attack which is known as the head start and that's mega ram spyro straight out of the box let me know what returning skylander is your favorite from swap forest down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one take care what's going on guys this is mike Noid, and today we're going to talk about the digital version of skylanders trap team Sky Skylanders Trap Team was available on pretty much every console. Some physical copies of the game are a bit pricey, but buying a copy is the most common way of playing this game. However, the Wii U was the only console to get a digital release. If you go into the eShop, you'll see that Trap Team does show up, but it doesn't let you purchase the game. A free code for the Wii U version was given to those who bought the Wii Starter Pack. I guess Toys for Bob felt bad about how Trap Team for Wii looks. Trap Team was available on tablets too, but those versions can't be played anymore but the digital wii u version is still fully playable let me know which console you guys play skylanders trap team on down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one take care what's going on guys this is mike annoyed and today i'll be showing you guys all of my chase variants from the skylanders franchise i'm not a huge fan of chase variants since they still keep their original appearance in game but since i finished collecting skylanders from the first five games i figure i would go after the more common chase figures from spyro's adventure i have red drill sergeant blue bash and green gilgrunt from giants i have pumpkin eyebrow glow in the dark cinder and sonic boom Metallic Green Gilgrunt and Shroom Boom, Golden Flame Slinger, and Double Trouble from the Battleground Starter Pack, also known as Double Trouble 1.5. And from Swap Force, I have Metallic Green Wash Buckler and Heavy Metal Sprocket. These are the most common chase variants you'll come across, but these figures are still pretty cool to have in my opinion. Let me know which chase variants you own down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. What's going on guys? This is Mike Noid and today I'm going to be ranking all the 3DS Skylander games in a series of videos, starting with Skylander Superchargers Racing. Superchargers Racing is solely focused on the racing aspect of Superchargers. You can race in land, sea, and sky vehicles in a variety of different courses alongside many other types of mini games. There's enough racing to last you for hours and you can play local multiplayer using a second 3DS or on the TV if you're playing the Wii version. This game is 
however very easy despite playing on the hardest difficulty and you'll be at an obvious disadvantage if you use any Skylander that isn't a Supercharger or Eon's Elite figure. This is still a very fun racing game but since the other 3DS games are platforming games it would be kind of weird to rank Superchargers racing with them so this is in its own category. Let me know what your favorite Supercharger and vehicle combination is down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. What's going on guys, this is Mike Kenoid and today I'm going to be ranking all the 3DS Skylander games in a series of videos. And up next is Skylander's Trap Team. Trap Team on 3DS is about saving Skylands from falling asleep and defeating the Dream Sheep using your team of Skylanders, including Trap Masters that carry powerful weapons that would deal even more damage to trappable enemies. You can use every Skylander from the first 4 games at any time to take on levels and play Skystones for the first time in the 3DS games. There's a lot of things that hold this game back though. There's a lot of mindless minigames, forgettable villains, a humdrum story, and the inability to use traps from the console games. And instead using the touchscreen to trap enemies, just use an attack that needs a cooldown period. Trap Team on 3DS is still a fun platforming game, but these flaws place itself in the last spot of my ranking at number 4. Let me know which mini Skylander is your favorite down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. What's going on guys, this is Mike Annoyed and today I'm going to be ranking all the 3DS Skylander games in a series of videos. So now let's talk about Skylander Spyro's Adventure. Spyro's Adventure on the 3DS was the first of the handheld games that introduced platforming levels that allow Skylanders to dash and double jump. You can use two Skylanders at a time on each level to retrieve a crystal, but once you do, you'll trigger the Hector time limit and will need to reach the end of the level before time runs out. The levels are really fun to play through, but you won't be able to replay them normally since the Hector Hector time limit will start at the beginning of the level once you find 4 crystals. I have the most nostalgia for Spyro's Adventure on the 3DS, but 2 of the sequels are just a little bit better, which is why this game will go at number 3. Let me know which element you think had the best Skylanders from Spyro's Adventure down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. What's going on guys, this is Mike Noid and today I'm going to be ranking all the 3DS Skylander games in a series of videos. So let's talk about Skylander Giants next. Giants on 3DS is more of the same from Spyro's Adventure, except now you have Giant Skylanders, which are bigger and stronger characters that can unlock areas normal Skylanders can't get to. The platforming is still as fun as it was in the previous game, but now you can choose whether you want to have a time limit or not. Series 2 Skylanders are Skylanders from Spyro's Adventure that have gained a WoW Pal. Although this game doesn't exactly tell you what it is, you are also still limited to using two Skylanders at a time, which is great if you want a challenge, but it's kind of a hassle if you want to use one of the 99 Skylanders this game supports. This is definitely a fantastic sequel, which is why I'm putting Giants on 3DS at the number 2 spot. Let me know which Giant Skylander is your favorite down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. What's going on guys, this is Mike Noid, and today I'm going to be ranking all the 3DS Skylander games in a series of videos, and we're finally talking about Skylander Swap Force. Swap Force on 3DS has you save Skylands and Kali from Count Moneybone using your army of Skylanders, including the Swappers which allows you to mix and match their tops and bottoms to make fun and interesting combinations. Once again, the platforming is pretty much the same as SSA and Giants, but now the game allows you to save your entire collection collection of Skylanders onto the game itself. This makes switching between Skylanders much easier and allows you to truly enjoy the game on the go without taking all of your figures everywhere. My only complaint of this game would probably be that some swap zones are kind of bland, but other than that this is easily the best Skylanders 3DS game. So the only place Swap Force belongs is at number 1. Let me know which swapper combination is your favorite down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.